wonder you couldn't hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see it live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah. I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> oh! Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Oh man! I can't wait to play this! Maybe I can convince Andy to buy it with his paper out money. Hope Mom wasn't joking about seeing Star Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game? Some barn I turned out to be. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Need to build up my calluses. I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. Ooh. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. The movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. Keep hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure.
Peter Quill. 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 Peter Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. It ain't just the junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Groot's right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacor. I am Groot. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha! I am Groot. Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Who said that? Quill! I am Groot. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. Arrested. If they catch us, they'll shoot us on spot. <gasps> Out here, on the frontier, cops don't have time to arrest people. I am Groot. <laughs> Relax, bud. Novacor ain't the type to shoot first. Arresting folks is their whole thing. That and silly helmets. <sighs> nice gizmos, Rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Hey, holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you could be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. <clears throat> So, Drax, excited to meet our buyer after we catch the monster? Of course. Lady Hellbender is a legendary warrior and a noble queen. And she's rich. That is not a prowess, simply a commercial fact. As long as she buys her monster, she doesn't need to be royalty. You are jealous of her status. No thanks. Being a queen means being born with a target on your back. Kind of like the one on yours. Ugh. <sighs> Wonder if Drax was allowed to decorate his cell in the kiln. Probably not. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. 
Manual brushing is where it's at. Hey, uh, Groot, did that escort job on Orga ever pan out? <clears throat> what do you mean you never called her back? Don't know if you noticed, but we're flarkin broke. <clears throat> what? Wait. What kind of escort was that contract about? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'd rather be broke. Drax! <clears throat> about Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She is waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. Mora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we've reached that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. It appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. 
The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed there. So much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Roland. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quilt Suda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. My baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? I am Groot. What? The pink coop? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Uh, okay. Guess you're taking the long way now. Just one and oh. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This uh. Pink resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. I am Groot. Ah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I am Groot. I didn't mean toxic, toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth, toxic. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, Quill, these coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? You find something we could sell? Nah, just some old correspondence. You know how I like to brush up on galactic war history. Um, uh, no? Don't think I've ever seen you read anything without pictures. I read plenty of non-picture stuff. Thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Ebrium-based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. Oh! Look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy! Why'd he even bring us here if the place is so sacred? 
I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hell. Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Lark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Pass this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we can find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Come on, Quill. Hurry it up. Quill. Where'd you go? We have a missing Terran. He was just there, and then he wasn't. Sorcery. Huh. Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. I am I'm not being insensitive. I'm curious. And kind of jealous. How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Whoa! I'm okay! Ugh. I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No! Aww. You were worried. That's cute. Word. Uh, shut up, both of you. I, am weak. I told you, we ain't gonna get caught. There's only like three ships left in the entire Nova Force. Nova Corps has more than three ships. Oh, uh, watch it, Quill. What? Oh. Woo! <laughs> Take that, brittle stuff. Splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm good. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. I'm Groot. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I'm Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Nova Corps missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. <laughs> now this brings back memories. Oh, you trying to bring the whole place down, Quill? 
I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. Uh, ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, oh, hey, little guy. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? You dead, Quill? We can hear your woodsy squeal even without the cops. Little busy! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. Not falling for this again. Not funny. How much of the war did you see, Rocket? Only the bits that happened as I was doing other jobs. Great thing about a war, nobody was paying much attention. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like, you could even tell if she had an honest face. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. If mother is Scott! Mark, Mark, Mark! Are you kidding me? Jump that! You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, yeah. oh. It's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. Ugh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? I'm Groot. Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do with run into a no We'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, floor combat! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You... Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things, gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your vines first. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. Found something with a charge. Kind of looks like a spacey car battery. Lucoid or xenon cell. Uh. Okay. This thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket monster, baby! Everyone get ready! Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, no, no! Stop. If I don't re- If I don't rewire this fast, it's gonna short-circuit! It's like it's all 
See you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lock that monster. Guys! We deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! Man! That thing is ridiculous! I think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century. A robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so, uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I could see the parts come and go from my, uh... Oh, whoa! Uh, my cake. Hey! You trying to keep me talking just to distract me? What? No. I'm listening. You're cheating is what you're doing. I'm trying to have a serious, like, discussion here. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Get a load of this, Rocket! Don't worry, I ain't even gotten serious yet. Drax, how come you're so in love with this Hellbender lady? I do not love Lady Hellbender. Yeah, shouldn't you be all like, her name is Illogical, you cannot bend hell. That does not at all resemble me. I look worried. The resin will hold. I am Groot. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. I am Groot. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that? Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. Inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. Found a nest! Rocket scores! Ooh. Hey Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? Um, I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. <laughs> well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh. You're so predictable. Don't congratulate him! Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hypersurface. 
Boo! No one knows what those are! Exactly! You suck, Star Charge! What do you think, Drax? Should we get in on this bet? Think of all the hyper circuits you can buy. Are you making fun of me? I do not wish to acquire hyper circuits. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, Thumper goes there. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flip gotta love that kill rate. I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Team, looks like we're done installing our thumpers. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. Right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. I am Groot. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? I am Groot. That's right. I've always got your back, bud. I am Groot. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. Come in, green team. We've got eyes on the mining ship. Yes, the resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See, I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! Oh, no! Oh, ah! Saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a chug. Come on, Quill. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. 
That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Groot's signal just went dark. Fuck. His radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? He ain't timber. He's alive. Uh, Groot just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket over. <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. Uh, sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Fruit's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever, right? Like you said, fruit's fine. Everything is fine. Exactly. We're all fine. Sure, sure, fine. Hey, what's grosser than ten Shatari nailed to a ship? I don't know, what? One Shatari nailed to ten ships. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Crap, this turbine's right in the way. Gotta get through it. These things open up to let gas through, right? There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our temper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. And... Boop. Someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. Crap, 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 crap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! Attack! One for me! That point don't count if we're dead! So much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt the panel. Yeah, there's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this gonna take? Oh, come on! Lark and tensor joint just need to uh, wiggle the. Uh. Okay, so life support's moving back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space bar. Well, 
Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just... Man. of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots. You don't know. Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? <laughs> yep. Just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, want to bet green team's having trouble parking the ship? I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. It would suck to get busted in here. You know, with just one exit. Is that supposed to make me feel better? There you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Look at this old beauty. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. Fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. All right, it's all yours. You require additional supplies, Master Quill. Hey, Quill, Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here. That's one stubborn bunch of war. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep helping it. Oh yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. Bro! 
Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket, finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. He is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. You two have any luck? It is not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise so we can find you. Drax? Drax! Hey, you want to mute your comms if you're gonna scream your lungs out? Peter Quill. I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. If Rocket knows what this is. Spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Here's good. Understood. Well, that's helpful. I 
did as our leader bid. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. Mind lifting that up? Are you certain where you want it this time? Need your muscles again, Drax. It'll look real good right here. I am on my way. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you move. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fuck. Rocket. Uh, not now, Quill. <laughs> Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. Why do you think the monster was drawn to the ship of all places? Sustenance, no doubt. Maybe the ship's engines are still vibrating after all these cycles. Or they draw sustenance from something that is leaking. Radiation could explain our comm problems. Perhaps they are scavenging old food stores for sustenance. Hungry, Drax? Yes. Fucking scary out there, Quill. Clark Dart's on the field. Danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Can't wait to take him down! Feel this! This really gets the blood pumping! This is my 
kind of workout! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Catch our monster. Hey, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you! That's one less thing to hide behind. Good thinking, Will. This beast has broken one of them. I have a good feeling about this one. It's got nowhere left to hide. But it can still run. Gotta be some way to slow it down. Flark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. <clears throat> I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, now that is a monster. All right, enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Whose name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins! Tracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this better song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? Well... 
Time to thread the needle. Don't even think about it! Quickest way through is through. Peter! You're here dying with a guilty conscience, assassin. Don't you get goo on my ship. My ship. Look, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduth. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? Peace, so... Groot says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! You want me to take the controls? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Quilt. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! We're shot on all sides. We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Hope stretch! Our last breath! Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people! How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten! Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Hope. Uh, did you say Hal is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is going to hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, hey Krell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too, Corral. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Say Hal is Hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. 
We need to get rid of that animal. Now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corral! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed. Leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flarkin bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Oh, the airlock. Oh, I really shouldn't have hung up on her. What about the crate? Leave it. I'll handle this. Krell and I have history together. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, I will get us out of this. Trust me. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore Licensing Permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No. Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. 
They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No container. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier like Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say mom? Just to be super clear on the mom thing. You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. See? <sighs> this is a weird... around the corner we'll be safe there here help me with this ready together on three two one <laughs> go go <Yeah>. okay <sighs> we need to keep moving this yeah, way Nikki Whoa. just stay close there was something wrong about that church Who's fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh man, this is bad. Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. Come on. You no, know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner, and I got this. <laughs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. How do we establish your special key? Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine, ish. I 
mention how useful my jet boots will be right now? Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost. There. Ah! Hot! Hot! Ah, ah, that is really hot! Yes! Got it! Through here! Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Call me Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. Come on. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Unbelievable. Yeah, I get that a lot. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean, it's cool. Gives them personality. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. Pfft. Drive me crazy sometimes. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Any day now. Right, right. Just taking it all in. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. I'm still in charge here, you know? Of course you are. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, 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 just, just promise you won't tell anyone about this place. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no, this is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? Definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo, 
These gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. A universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to... Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Ah. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar is secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarter. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. 
Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security. Or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. So, how does a 12-year-old get into these places? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war, it was a lot of feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, lockdown. Lockdown, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same... I've changed! Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... Whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Wow, that, okay. That is a lot of money. Look, here, I was thinking that the maybe... The non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship and a Class two biohazard. I couldn't decide which one to hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three.
Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units?! That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. 